Our plan is just to, you know, just keep knocking in solid results. We're not going to, you know, not go for glory and try and win the regatta. But you know, you could quite easily muck up um, the regatta by doing that. There's a lot of good boats in the 470 class. Um, I think anyone on their day, yeah, can ten people. Yeah, 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 anyone in the top sort of five to ten could get a medal. So it's it's quite exciting class to be honest, because you just never know who's going to come out on top. And uh, you've just got to pick your moment, hopefully, and hopefully. And hold it together and this will be our, our week so we'll see. <laughs> we, we are having a lot of up and downs it means that uh, the fleet is on a pretty same level. There is a lot of uh, good crew, uh, New Zealand is very very good, uh, Netherlands, British here, British here are very very good. Well, they are really at the top and uh, they are racing very good. Yeah, for us it was a not so brilliant day. This morning we were at first place, now we are in fourth. We will try to recover as possible uh, uh, physically tonight, so tomorrow we will uh, uh, try to get uh, back in the top uh, three. Sure, the Australian uh, crew is uh, really, really strong. Uh, today they had the best day of all the gold fleet, and uh, I think they are now in the first position, English team. There are uh, five boats, uh, very, very good and very fast. Uh, I think two of them are in front of us. Tomorrow is the, um, the last gold fleet day, so we have to, to keep concentrate to, to stay very close to the first, uh, first um, cruise, so that we can uh, maybe in the medal race, that everything can happen, uh, jump <laughs> in the victory or in the podium. And uh, so it's really important to concentrate until the end because uh, uh, always something can happen.